Welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree. Where we bring to you Louisiana life, Cajun cooking, and all the land yap you can put on your plate. Whether it's tight line, trout line, or you're sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. You're going to see it here. We're fishing. We're hunting. We're cooking. Crabbing. Balling. Frying. Grilling and eating. So stay tuned. Welcome everybody to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today is day two of the Madisonville Wooden Boat Festival. Had a blast yesterday, video and everything out here. We had a good time. We'll come back today for all the final festivities. The Wooden Boat Race, the parade through town. Uh, there's a big band later today. It's going to be fun, y'all. Stay tuned. This is going to be good. We have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, call for my Ed's Tire Service. Come on down to Fred's on the River. Fred started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for swamp pop and jitterbugging. Open seven days a week with karaoke on Friday nights and big name bands on Saturday and Sunday nights. Fred's now has 10 tons of air conditioning on the back deck. Video games, pool tables, dart boards, and a big screen TV with happy hour from 5 to 7 every day. Fred's boat launch is free and so is the Meat River Hospitality. Passing a good day and you just don't want to go home? Anchor down with Botella. The Botella is a trailable houseboat customized to your specifics and designed with self-contained technology for a combined standalone enjoyment of boating, fishing, cooking, and camping use. Botella's propane fuel generator allows you to power up and enjoy a day's play on the waterways. Then enjoy a comfortable evening of slumber parties without missing any of the comforts of home. Captain says, just anchor down and order your customized Botella. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. And now, back to the show. All right, I'm out here with Mr. Burt Murray, who is chairman of the committee for the dirty race quick and dirty race um, tell us a little bit about what's the timeline and what's going to be going on today uh, we're going to start lining up at about 1 1 30 uh, the parade will go by, go out the back of the uh, ball field area go on Pine Street go down to uh, St. Louis to uh, Water Street we'll go the length of Water Street and go to the north side of the bridge okay and then uh, the last one in the parade of 15 crews will launch first. He'll paddle out to uh, about 100 yards upstream, uh, north of the bridge. When everybody gets launched and is out there, then uh, we'll drop the flag, start the race, and depending on the wind, they'll sail or maybe help paddle or just sail down through, uh, through the bridge and uh, to a buoy, turn around the buoy and paddle back. And of course the first one that goes across the finish line is the winner and then second and third. Now, during the launching of some of these boats, they may or may not make it. I do have two awards. One is the subsurface cruiser and the second one is the will it float award. God, you, and you really don't want to be in those awards now. No, not necessarily. My wife, who does wonderful woodwork, has made all of these trophies for you. And um, we're going to be handing them out about 4 o'clock out here at the ball field. Okay. Gives them a chance to get back here and get refreshed and, and get everything. Get dried off, maybe. Dried off a little bit. 
and then uh, we'll go ahead and hand off the trophies and everything. And I and thank uh, you for taking time to stop and talk oh, to I'm us. Oh, I'm happy too. We just we want everybody to get out here and have a lot of fun. And that's what it's been. It's been a lot of fun, y'all. Person, turn around. We got an announcement. We got an announcement. Okay. Let's listen to this announcement. Sales are deployed both ways. You can paddle both ways. Wow. No wow. questions. Oh, that's wow. Sales, sales are out. Sales are deployed both ways. Both ways. Okay, sales are both ways. All right. I found another crew out here. What's the name of this crew? This is the Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. The Duck Dynasty crew. And, that, and, and, and you've been growing that for a while, I can see. <laughs> yeah, sure That's pretty long, it's man. That's ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> Things are looking good since I last seen y'all. The boat's looking beautiful. Well, yeah, we Thank had you. a late, we had a slow start yesterday, but we're, we're on top of things today. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Now the, the paint job, uh, who's who's the inspiration behind this? This is my father, Buddy Cost. All right. Yeah, he used to design uh, Mardi Gras floats for a living. Professional. So, Professional. There you have it. I love the duck head on the front. Yeah. Now uh, you got your sails made. Well, we're painting them Working right on now. that. Yeah. The paddles are made. Yeah, paddles made. Little duck feet. Awesome. <laughs> now, uh, if you was to give your uh, boat a scale of 1 to 10, what you thinking? Oh, my goodness. You mean in, in best of show? Yeah. I love well... 11-12. You know, yeah. These boys got some stiff competition with us today. I gotcha. tell you, uh, we're looking for the uh, best of show award, to tell you the truth, and first it, place it, in the race. It's a nice boat. I'm going to have Thank to say it's much. a very nice boat. Uh, we're going to see y'all in the parade. We're going to see y'all at the good. launch, and hopefully we're going to see y'all at the finish line. We're going to see us at the finish line. Well, <laughs> good luck to y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right. Thank y'all. We're getting lined up here. We're lined we're up. Be starting in just a few minutes. Uh, sales up. They're in back. They're in back. Yeah, that's a new thing. That's a twist. Mm -hmm. All right, back again, and y'all have done a lot of progress on this boat since I last seen y'all. We have indeed. We're almost finished. I'm going to have to say it is a beautiful boat. We appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, what made you pick these colors? Well, we were struggling with the theme, and we figured what's better for America than all-American boat? Yes, and the theme is, the crew is? The crew is the Patriots of the Trafuncta. Sweet, sweet. And that's an awesome paint job. Thank you. Now, how y'all staying? You got your, your sail made? The sail's made, we're working on the rigging, and then we'll put it together and we'll be ready to go probably in about an hour and a half. Gotcha. On a scale of 1 to 10, how you feeling about it? I'm feeling about a 10 that will float. That's the most <laughs> important thing. From there, it's all... It's all manpower. We'll give it a 6. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, we're going to see y'all in the parade and we're going to see y'all at the launch. We'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. We're ready. Y'all ready? We are ready. Y'all got things going? Got the music blaring? We got the music playing. We got the CC top on. We got the boat ready. All we need to do is win. That's all there is left to it. That's all there is to it. We got it. Where's your spot in line? Where are you going to be? We're going to, we make sure we strategically place it in the middle because every year they change it up of who goes in first and who goes in last. So you can so get in the middle. If you stay in the middle, you don't ever have to worry about it. You've got a minimum weight. Awesome. Good strategy. Good strategy. Yes, sir. They're telling me sails up both ways. Sails are up both ways, but we can also paddle both ways. Ah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. What's y'all's What's y'all's inspiration behind this? What's the, What's the theme? Is the pink ladies? And the no, it's the grease, grease lightning. lightning. Grease lightning. Grease, grease lightning. lightning. Yes, indeed. Go grease lightning. <laughs> yes, indeed. Go awesome. Grease awesome. Lightning. Go grease lightning. The river. How's, uh, how you feeling? We're ready. You ready? We're ready, yeah. We're ready. ready. We're definitely ready today. We're ready. That's why we came in first, because we go out last. <laughs> All right. Y'all got, y'all seen y'all come up here first and got, the, that's y'all strategy. That's right. We go out last. Bill Hartier, keep flowing, and the desk clerk dressed in black. Yeah, they piss out long on a lonely street, you know they ain't never going back. Well, they've been so lonesome. Yeah, they've been so lonesome, they could die. Oi!
comes those jailbirds now. The pink ladies. What's up, fellas? The Mississippi Nats. Carry it the whole way. Supercharger. I forgot that you walk by the water. There you go. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Two Rows Grocery has an extensive hot breakfast menu like no other around. Hot plate lunches seven days a week. Cold salads, take and bake pizzas, po' boys, sandwiches, rotisserie meats, and signature desserts. Customers may call ahead to place orders. Our meat department is second to none, featuring signature Cajun smoked sausage, stuffed chicken, bacon-wrapped jalapenos, and much more. Locally owned by the Turo family. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. And now, back to the show. Well, this is the moment of truth right here. Yeah, we're going to start launching a little bit so we get everybody turned around. We're going up that way where that little blue boat is. Uh huh. And then they're going to line up and they're going to head south. And then they get the wing buoy down here. And then they're going to go back north. And the finish line is? Is a buoy on our boat. We'll be on one side, the buoy on the other, and everything will be good. All right. Well, we got left to launch them and see who can float. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh. And they're off. They're off. They are off. The race has started, y'all. Some of them are going in the wrong direction, but we've got a. The jailbirds are out in the lead. Oh, one's down. We got a boat over. We got a boat turned over. We got one boat. No, I can still up. We're still up. We're on the left. Look at there. Those jailbirds. They not only break out of jail, they can row. Their sails up, but somehow it's uh it's working good for them. Now I think the jailbirds was a team that they paid a submarine to go underneath and put a hole in all the other boats. Those boys are cruising. I, I, that man's fixing to go over. It looks like those guys have a motor. They were going so fast. The jailbirds, the jailbirds are flat out crossing. We've got a, We've had a wreck. We've had a wreck. Got messed up. They pushed them. Come on, Lyle. Come on, Lyle. Go, Lyle. Now they're picking up speed. They are picking up speed. Oh, yeah. The, the duck commander people, the, the duck boat is catching up. All right. Now they... They have to go around a buoy down here 
and then turn around and come back. All you gotta do is go flip. I know. Now uh, we've noticed the Stars and Stripes both setting their own pace. Oh, we've got somebody. Can you just swim along behind your boat? We didn't get the rules on that. Some of the boats are still where they started. Uh, uh, the, now the ladies in the pink boat are catching up a little bit. Now the lone man in the, the one boat here with the orange here. He's huffing and puffing. Yeah, he. You got it all. Go, go, go. The sheriff's office down here? All right. Those girls are all really getting down here. Looked like that sales messing with her. Now he's swimming with his boat. I don't know the rules on that, but. Our rigger guy swimming next to the boat. Looks like jailbirds are the first run around the buoys. Jailbirds are around the buoys. The jailbirds are on the way back already. They're coming from the other way. Yes, the jailbirds are cruising. We don't have the Coast Guard this year, so it's, it, it, nobody's helping these guys that are down right now. Normally the Coast Guard's here. The whole hey, y'all. Well, they're not doing anything. Is that government shutdown? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the jailbirds are running away with this. We've got another boat cruising. The Duck Commanders are trying to catch up. You can see the sweat on them from here. Second place is no good. Out. Looks like the Jailbirds are going to take this on a runaway. They're, they're Duck Dynasty doesn't have that sail up, though. Uh, we're being told there's probably a disqualification on the Duck Dynasty. They were supposed to run their sail up there and back now so that's this probably a true second place boat coming in right now coming through there looks like the jailbirds took it we've got a a non-race boat We've got a boat that's not in the race that has a rogue boat has flipped over in the middle of the course. Look like two little kids on the boat. Oh, here we go. Here comes another one back. This looks... And that looks like our third place boat passing right now with the stars and stripes. Is that sail legal? Yeah, yeah. That's, what's his name? Yeah. That's the right. right there. The right. That looks like. That's not a legal sail. Looks like the jailbirds. They are trying. They are trying to flip the jailbirds' boat. The jailbirds will be flipped here in just a minute. They are no. They caught a rider. They've picked up another rider. The the, the guy left his boat and he's getting into the jailbird boat and he's flipping the jailbird boat. He has sunk the jailbirds. Jailbirds went down. Jailbirds went down. But they already won first. That's uh. That's sportsmanship right there. That's sportsmanship at its finest. He's low riding. He's low. He is paddling full of water. This is amazing. The, a, the sinking boat is steadily going. 
The course, the course is littered with trash. That boat won't sink. No matter what, that boat won't sink. He's wore out. Anybody else out there? Go out! Oh, he's going, he's, he's dishing part of the boat. He's, he's, he's making it lighter now. He's throwing off some parts where he can be a little lighter. <laughs> yeah. No, fourth, fourth, fourth. No, we got four. The red, white, and blue boat, the uh, camouflage boat. Bird, and bird's down there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but that looks even like. Fail on the red, white, and, blue. Yeah, and when we come back, I'm going to show you what's really going on. Gavez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog leg, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in DeWall Seafood. Glad you stayed tuned to Cajun Living and Cooking. Now look what's next. All right, folks. This is the war ceremony right here. All these two days of work are finally going to be paid off with awards today, right now. I want to recognize my crew. I got Fred Ritter. Steve, that's my grandson, John David. Yeah. Roger. Where are the people? Roger. 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 Steve. Bob. Where's Bob? Where's Bob? Bob. Over there. Oh, Bob. Oh, and my Pat, and my wife Pat is hiding someplace. The son. There's Pat. David. And there's my son David. There you go. All right. Number one. Well, I'm Bert. Mr. Dirty. There you go. All right. I want to thank y'all for being here. This is your contest, and y'all did a hell of a job. I appreciate all of you going down like you did. Everybody on shore loved it. It was a real kick. Thank y'all. And uh, you all are invited with friends next year. Get those forms in, and uh, I'll get your letters out to you. And uh, we'll see you again next year. Let's start with these awards, all right? First place, David, David Fox. All right, where is he? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. All right, bro. Second place. I told you we were going to do it. Y'all did it. I told you. Pelican Dynasty. Y'all did it. Where you at? Yes, indeed. First place. First place, bro. Awesome. Awesome, baby. Awesome. Thank you. Good job, y'all. Say hey, Jerry. Thank you. All right. Coming back next year. Awesome. Thank you. Third place. Come over here. Come over. Where? Right here. Ladies. Second place, bro. How does it feel? How does it feel? Feels good. Feels good. Anybody Feels good. you want to thank? To my team. Right back up team. It's all the team right here. Good job, y'all. 
Good All job. Right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, now, y'all know who's going to get this one the best in show. Come on, man. Yeah! Redneck! Yeah! Best in show. We got the best in show. Achievement. Quack pack. Yeah! Good job, bro. Thank you very much. Good job. Anybody you want to thank? Hey, I want to thank all my family who thank comes you, here every year that we do this, and they all put it together. And this is our goal to win Best in Show. We like to pre please the crowd. We don't really care about the race. We like pleasing the crowd. Awesome. Good job, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Y'all come in here. What we got? We got the Achievement the Award. The Achievement Award, man. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, that's a pretty good award. It's a good charity award, yes, man. Indeed. It's a good charity award. We did all right, but we, we sank, but that's all right. Who you want to thank? I want to thank everybody for coming out. We had a good time doing it. Uh, the crowd loves it, especially when you sink. You know, that's, yes, that's, that's the whole best part about it. Everybody goes crazy. So that's fun stuff. That's man. the best stuff. Huh? And you're going to do it again next year? Oh, we do it every year, regardless of how the awesome. outcome is. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Good job, Rick. Good job. Number one. Number one. <laughs> good job, Rick. That's good. It's good. Woo! Mississippi Nats. Good airtime. Like Ship shape. Mississippi Nats. Oh, the Mississippi Nats. Where are they at? Where's the Nats? All right, man. Good job. Good job. Thanks. Uh, who do you want to thank for this award? I want to thank the team. The team. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> Mississippi Nats. Good job, man. Thanks. Good job. Enjoyed it. You'll be back next year. We're thinking about it. <laughs> And they came with them that far of coming across. Dudes and two divas. There they are. Here they are. Awesome. Awesome come job. Dudes. We got the dudes. Come on, dudes. dudes. Awesome. Awesome job y'all did. Now, now, uh, who do y'all want to thank for this? Who would you like to thank? I'm looking. Who? <laughs> we, we'd, we'd like to thank our dudes because if we would have just been sailing, we wouldn't have gotten the award. So. Yes, indeed. We're glad we if we'd have done better, they wouldn't have sank, too. Good job, y'all. See y'all next year. All right, thank you. We'll be back. Thanks. And the names may change. You want, to, you want us uh, to bring this again? Yes, I do. There we go. Y'all put on a wonderful show. Everybody enjoyed it. All right, folks, this has been fun. All-day event out here, two-day event out here. It's really been awesome. That boat building, boat sinking, boats paddling, it's really been nice. Good food, good friends. It's awesome. I'm going to come back next year. And thank you for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. We're going to see you next week.